once Ram Suratkumar told me, Yogi Ram Suratkumar, a great enlightened being, I asked him about these ghosts. He said, don't worry. Whenever you feel there is a ghost, just stare into it, it will disappear. Because it is nothing but your own projection. If you stare, you will understand there is nothing there, it is my projection from here. It will just settle down into your inner space. You will not see any of your projection. You see, only when you are in a bipolar mood, half of you is seen and half of you is seer. If you stare and come to awareness, whole of you becomes seer. If all of you become seer, you are a Brahmana, Parpan. If all of you is Parpan, you are a Parpanan. If half of you is seen and half of you is seer, you are a Chandala. Bipolar. If all of you become seer, you are a Brahmana. He just told me, stare at that. It will just disappear, it will not be there. Actually, this is one of a powerful, powerful cognition I received from him, an initiation I received from him. He told in a very colloquial Tamil. Uttu parada irkadra. One javanaka tanda retaya de rio. One javanaka, one javanaka tanda retaya de rio. Parada teria de parpamana parpananda. Actually, when I started staring. Then I understood my third eye is automatically functioning. Whoever sees everything through third eye, Mundra Vadagan Mool Moolam Parpavan Parpanan. Understand all your problems and difficulties and intensity losing its continuity. If you stare at them, you will understand how your conflu confusions has been wrongly branded as conclusions. Your confusions are wrongly accepted by you as a fact or the truth. I want you all to do this exercise. If you feel your intensity has lost its continuity, sit and dig out all the reasons you will see your confusions have been wrongly coronated as conclusions and truths and facts. In reality, there is only two, body and consciousness. There is no psychology. There is no psychology. Conclu understand, confusions given legitimacy and accepted as a fact creates, forms the foundation of psychology.
like husband and wife's fight somebody called it as psychological but there is nothing psychological about it one is logical another one is psycho that's all one is psycho another one is logical <laughs> there is nothing psychological about it <laughs> now everyone is wondering who is psycho who is logical <laughs> that is why nobody is clapping actually <laughs> yes all married people agree one is psycho one is logical but the problem is who is psycho who is logical <laughs> that is where the confusion is accepted as conclusion <laughs> and i tell you whoever is afraid of clapping and laughing is logical whoever <laughs> now i am giving you some of the tips to find out who is psycho and who is logical <laughs> because i do not want to be biased understand <laughs> understand the truth this is too important listen in day to day whether you are successful or failure you manifest power or you manifest powerlessness these are all conclusions you arrive that cannot affect your conviction you are sadashiva understand the conviction sadashiva cannot be shaken you are the para the ultimate what i call the maha sada shiva as i usually tell that brahmins call para brahma vaishnavites call parama patam shaivites call para shiva shaktas call para shakti that para the space of para you are that the independent intelligent active inspired charged up passionate embodiment of ananta kalyana gunas all the auspiciousness that conviction cannot be shaken by every day conclusions changing are moving listen because your conclusions every day goes ups and downs you feel the intensity is not continuity you are day to day you see you always gauge the productivity of your life and how you feel what you are about the day to day mood swing your day to day mood swing cannot be used to question the convictions about your existence i tell you all the mood swings you have because of your stomach related chemicals ups and downs and the actions you do reactions you do the so called good bad everything is dead it doesn't come with you the moment that fire jadaragni is put off all the actions and reactions related to lust does not come with you the moment kamagni is put off so every point you have 
to come to certain conclusions about you cannot question your convictions about you you are maha sada shiva is the conviction about you it's not conclusion understand that's not conclusion that cannot be conclusion your day to day actions reactions good bad right wrong victory defeat losing battles cannot be called as losing war if you stop conclusions shaking your conviction your intensity will become continuity your intensity will not come down this is the most important understanding you need to have not practice understanding you need to have to continue to manifest powers for continuous power manifestation all you need to do is understanding you have only two thing in you one is consciousness another one is body you do not have something called mind mind is confusion given the legitimacy as conclusions what is mind psychological actually you should all pronounce this word only from now on this way only you should not pronounce psychological you should pronounce as psycho logical psycho iphon logical actually that in the gap it is not even iphon orphan the child poor child <laughs> psycho orphan child logical <laughs> between the psycho and logical there is always not just iphon there is orphan listen i can give you very powerful support every day for next 11 days every half an hour it's for your personal purpose don't show it to anybody record your mood how you feel what you are doing like whatever time you wake up just click woke up at this time and then what you did every half an hour what you are doing and how you are feeling you can have five maybe color mark red depressed yellow alive and green active and maybe this brahmachari skavi color inspired and then sanya skavi alive you can have this five mark and mark don't show it to anybody only for you 11 days then you will understand how 
confusion is given such a priority to you almost whole day you are worshiping confusion devata om confusion aya vitmahe confusion aya timahi confusion prachodayat confusion e namaha confusion e vaushat confusion e swaha confusion e swata no how no really you need to know you see you need some shocking reminder about how you are just destroying your life in loitering around and wasting confusion angushta abhyam confusion darshan abhyam confusion madhyam abhyam anga devata of confusion is tiredness aabarana devata is depression parshada for the confusion is non integrity just 11 days if you do this practice you will wake up to the reality i know just 11 days only i am asking just 11 days do it sincerely so much in you will become clear all i did to reduce my weight i lost lot of weight all i did is started checking every day and recording that's all automatically it came down anybody want to lose weight simple technique every day take your weight and put it in a record it and see the graph then your ecg also will get altered <laughs> seeing that graph then you know when you are sitting to eat or when you are planning for whole day activity you know the weight and you will decide weight will not reduce by repenting it will reduce only seeing the weighing machine every day seeing in the mirror will not help because after continuously seeing few days you start feeling weight is also cute no weight is not cute for life understand muscles are okay but not the fat if you are constantly believing the negative end and thinking about that you are called fat if you are constantly cherishing the positive powerfulness powerful cognitions and inspired to move your life towards that you are called muscle every day expanding expanding expanding